Okay, the objective of this uh, short video is just to show you how to open up SPSS, how to navigate the absolute bare basics of the um, file system that SPSS uses, and that's it. So when you fire up SPSS for the first time, uh, you're going to see this default screen open up right here. You can go ahead and just cancel out of this, and what you will see is something that looks sort of like a spreadsheet. Um, that's the sort of general motif that you see for SPSS. But let's get some data into this. We go to File, Open. And notice that there's four different things here. We're going to be worrying about these first three, data, syntax, and output. So let's open up some data. Now, SPSS uh, native file system for opening up data is a .save file. It can also open up certain types of Excel spreadsheets and other types of uh, data files. So I'll navigate to an arbitrary SPSS file I'm using for some research. And the file is opened. And now when I open it, I see some data here. You may see some language or words. Notice I'm toggling this button up here. We'll talk later in a different podcast what this is about. Um, there's a tab near the bottom it says variable view I clicked on variable view and we switch back to data view this is the normal two tabs you're always going to see for any SPSS file so <clears throat> this is the save file so if you want to save your data edit your data change your data it's all done here this is where the actual data you've collected for your research resides. Now let's start learning about what output is. Let's do something very simple. So let's go to this analyze button up here. Let's go to descriptive statistics and go to frequencies. And we see a little menu here. What we're going to do is these on the left hand side are all of the variables that are stored in our save a file. So in that spreadsheet you're looking at, I'm going to arbitrarily pick one of them. You could have picked multiple of them and add them over here. This group over here, this variables menu is where we're actually uh, selecting the variables we're going to be used for our analysis. And for now, I'm just going to see how there's this little checkbox here that says display frequency tables. I'm going to leave that checked. And I'm just going to head, go ahead and click OK. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just trying to generate some analysis. So what we get here, you'll notice that when this ran, notice that there is this something now called a new a file, uh, a new menu opens up called Output. See the Output in the upper left-hand corner here. And this is not where your data lives anymore. This is where the output of any analysis you conduct goes in SPSS. So looking through here, I do in fact see that uh, I ran some frequencies, and here's a frequency table at the bottom here of different results. So this is exactly what I just asked it to do. It ran this, and any sophisticated analyses or simple analyses you do will always come into an output window. Now if we want to save this output, we should go to File, go to Save As, and what I want you to note here is notice that we're not saving the .sav file. This is an output file. And SPSS saves these output files as .spv files, viewer files. These are a completely separate file. If you save an output file, you don't save the original data file. You have to save these two things separately. So I'm going to say, I'm going to call mine delete this, just so I remind myself to get rid of this later so I don't clog up my system. I'll save it arbitrarily onto the desktop. And I'll save it. And sure enough, there's my delete this.spv file. Okay, and again, that is not, this is my data file, the dot save file. See dot save up top. This is my dot spv file up here. Okay. Now we're going to learn about one other type of file that you're going to need to use uh, while we're working with SPSS for research. So let's go back, go to Analyze, 
And notice I'm in the output, I mean in the, um, yeah, the output file, and I can still go to analyze and still run analyses from it. Nothing changes, it still grabs that original data. Go back to frequencies, and I'm not going to change anything. I remember what I did. But what we're going to do is actually generate syntax, coding syntax. This is the computer language, if you will, that SPSS understands. So let's hit this button that says paste right here. When we hit paste, a syntax file opens up. This is a, the third and final type of file that we need to worry about. And oops, sorry for that sudden pause. I had a brief uh, interruption while I was recording this. So <clears throat> we are now uh, looking at the syntax file that we ran when we hit the paste button. Now the syntax file is the third type of file we're going to care about here. And what it does is it's a sort of an archive of where we put all of the computer, uh, uh, the SPSS syntax that we write, or in most cases, SPSS will create it for us, and sometimes we'll do some very mild um, edits to it later to use it. So this is what we uh, generated, and although I'm not asking you to learn how to be a coder, if you look at it, you'll probably notice that it's pretty understandable. We ran a frequencies. The variable we selected was a variable called STRS10. That was the name of the variable in the data set, and this default sort of running here created that table. So now, what we can do in these syntax files, they're nice is because they let us uh, remember all of the syntax that we've created. Sometimes this can easily become thousands of rows of syntax. You can put a little star. I hit the Shift-8 key when I did that. And I can write notes to myself, put a period at the end. This allows me to sort of make commentary about the different analyses as I build this up over time. Now, I can actually run my syntax if I select this. I can go to Run, and I can run this selection. And now when I run this selection, notice that the output file, remember earlier I was working with this, it stacks. And again, this was my table from previously, but then when I ran it again by selecting the syntax and hit Run, I replicated the analysis. And it's nice to be able to replicate your analysis and see what you did, because projects take many days, sometimes weeks, and you want to be able to replicate the work that you've done previously. Minimize this. I'm back to my syntax file now. Now, if I want to save my syntax file, saving my syntax file is separate. Um, I will call this delete this as well, so I don't forget to delete it. And notice again, the syntax file is a .sps file, the syntax file. So I will save that. And sure enough, see here's my syntax file, here's my output file, and then my .save file was elsewhere. So this brief tutorial kind of shows you the three file types you're going to need to deal with in SPSS, and uh, so you're comfortable with working with these things.